Hey there, our wonderful friends. It's Rex and Max, your favorite hosts from the best YouTube channel around, Dog World and you. We're always chatting about keeping your fur babies healthy, but you know what's just as important as their physical health? Their mental health. Absolutely, Max. A dog's mental well-being affects everything from how they feel emotionally to how they behave, learn, and socialize. And today, we've got a super special guest joining us who's a pro at keeping those doggy minds happy and healthy. Please welcome Yogi Dogasana. Namaste, dear friend. Namaste, my lovely friends. Great to be here with you both. Hey, Yogi Dogasana. We've heard about the amazing work you're doing to help dogs with anxiety and poor mental health. That's fantastic. But we're also curious about your personal journey. We know you've overcome some challenges. Well, before I found inner peace, I lived with my wonderful family in the hustle and bustle of the city. I was always on edge, sensitive to loud noises and dealing with constant anxiety. Despite my family's best efforts, it really started affecting my overall well-being. One day, during a thunderstorm, things got so overwhelming that I had a complete breakdown, shaking, panting heavily, the whole shebang. It was a tough moment, and my family rushed me to the vet, who diagnosed me with severe anxiety. Wow, that must have been tough. How did your family manage to help you through such a challenging time? Well, Max, they decided to explore alternative options beyond traditional treatments like medication and behavioral therapy. My family is big believers in yoga, the power of the brain, and holistic approaches. They decided to take a different approach, and that marked the beginning of my spiritual journey towards inner peace. That's fascinating. Can you share more about how you transitioned from being a nervous wreck to becoming a master of Zen? It was quite a journey, Rex. Picture this, navigating the chaos of a megacity where something's happening every minute. I couldn't escape to a nature retreat, so we had to find my Zen amidst the urban madness. Surprisingly, we discovered the healing power of noise. Dogasana, did I catch that right? You're talking about noise? Yep, Rex. White noise, red noise, gray noise. There's a whole spectrum of it. Fascinating. Tell us more about these magical sounds. Is there some science behind them? Let's dive into the mystery of white noise, for instance. You've probably encountered it in your daily life. Think fans, air conditioners, even radio static. So is it a recent discovery about the power of white noise? Not at all, Max. The power of white noise machines goes way back, even to the 17th century. But here's the thing. We're still not entirely sure if white noise helps you doze off, or if it just drowns out other annoying sounds that keep us awake. I mean, in my neck of the woods in New York City, plenty of pals swear by white noise for blocking out those irritating sudden noises that pop up in the dead of night and keep them awake. White noise, huh? Can you explain more to our viewers about it? Picture it like this. White noise blankets the entire audible spectrum with equal energy, much like how darkness is the absence of light. In that analogy, if white noise is sound, black noise would be silence. Ah, got it. But what about colored noise then? Ah, now we're getting into the fun stuff. Colored noise isn't just typical sleep sound. It's a whole spectrum of sounds that can add some spice to your life. While most folks have heard of white or brown noise, not many know about pink, green, blue, violet, or gray noise. Each color has its own vibe and can be used for relaxation, focus, concentration, and even to tackle certain health issues. Cool, right? You know, it's fascinating, but scientists say music has healing powers, too. How does colored noise compare to music? Ah, uh, good question, Max. Colored noise is quite different from music. See, unlike music, colored noise doesn't have any rhythm, beat, or recognizable patterns or melodies. It's just random noise spread across a certain range of frequencies, which gives your ears a unique sensation or vibe when you listen to it. 
And just like with music, everyone's taste in colored noise varies. So, Dogasana, can you describe the relationship between frequency and colors? Ah, oh, it's fascinating, Rex. You see, for example, human ears can pick up frequencies ranging from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Now, these frequencies are divided into various bands, like bass for the lower ones, mid-range for the middle ones, and treble for the higher ones. Each band kind of has its own color, you know. Dogasana, could you share with our viewers why using colored noise can be so beneficial? Colored noise offers a range of benefits that can really enhance our lives. First off, it's a game changer for improving sleep. How? Well, it works wonders in two ways. Firstly, by drowning out those pesky environmental noises that can keep you tossing and turning all night. And secondly, by nudging your brain and body into a state that's primed for relaxation and deep sleep. That's amazing. But what else can colored noise do for us? Oh, plenty. It's not just for sleep, you know. Colored noise can also help sharpen your focus and concentration, or help you unwind and distress. Picture this. You're doing yoga or meditating. Colored noise can create the perfect backdrop for all of it. That's impressive. Are there any health benefits too? Absolutely. While it's not a cure-all, colored noise can offer relief for various health issues like sleep disorders, stress, anxiety, and more. It's known to boost focus, creativity, and memory, while also reducing fatigue and brain fog. Plus, it's soothing for both humans and dogs, helping everyone catch some Zs or find calm in a noisy world. Which colored noises do you prefer? Oh, Rex, I have a soft spot for all of them, each for different reasons. But you know, the most popular ones seem to be the top seven. White noise, pink noise, brown noise, green noise, blue noise, violet noise, and gray noise. Can you break down the differences between them for our viewers? Let's start with white noise. It's like the standard sleep sound. Picture the rushing or hissing sounds of TV or radio static, or the steady hum from a fan, vacuum, or air conditioning unit. It contains all frequencies in the audible spectrum at equal amplitude, making it great for masking other environmental sounds and helping light sleepers to fall and stay asleep. Moving on to pink noise, it's fantastic for study and sleep support. Unlike white noise, pink noise has more amplitude in the lower frequencies and decreases in amplitude with higher frequencies, providing a softer background noise. It can help you stay asleep longer and boost memory after waking up. It sounds like rustling leaves, the hum inside an airplane cabin, or steady rain on a tin roof. Then we have brown noise, known for its deep and soothing qualities. It emphasizes bass frequencies, making it ideal for deep and uninterrupted sleep. Like pink and white noise, it can enhance relaxation and focus. Examples of this noise include rumbling thunder, strong winds, a purring cat, or crackling fire. Green noise is naturally calming and falls into the mid-range of the sound frequency spectrum. It drowns out other distracting sounds while soothing symptoms of anxiety, helping you feel relaxed and focused simultaneously. It sounds like heavy rainfall, rolling waves, soft breezes through a forest, or driving noise. Blue noise, on the other hand, is lively and ideal for concentration. It emphasizes high frequencies, encouraging alertness, mental clarity, concentration, and focus. It's useful for situations where you need to get things done. Examples include a hissing hose, steam leaking from a pipe, or computer fan noise. Violet noise is the most uplifting focus noise, emphasizing high frequencies even more than blue noise. It's crisp and bright, 
aiding focus, attention, and memory while masking high-frequency sounds. It sounds like a high-pitched hiss or sizzle, like running water from a faucet. Lastly, gray noise is a smoother version of white or pink noise, perceptually more balanced. It's the most even sounding of the colored noises, with variations in volume melting into each other. Whoa, that's a ton of information. But how do we go about choosing the right noise for our needs? It's all about personal preference and what you're aiming to achieve. For instance, while blue noise might help someone focus on a task, it might not be the best for sleep. It's all about finding what works for you through a bit of trial and error. If you're looking to relax or sleep better, you might start with white, pink, or brown noise. But if you're trying to get your brain fired up and ready to go, green, blue, or violet noise could be the way to go. Just remember, what's soothing for one person might not be the same for another. So experiment with different types and see what clicks for you. And you don't even need to look far to find them. Everything you need can be found in the playlist on the Dog World and you channel. Dogasana isn't listening to all this noise every night bad for my hearing? Well, Rex, it can be if you're cranking up the volume too high. Make sure you're keeping it at a healthy level while you're snoozing away. Plus, some folks might find certain frequencies or sounds a bit grating or uncomfortable. So it's crucial to listen at a level that feels good for you. And hey, just like with anything involving sound, it's good to take regular breaks. Lastly, try to listen to the noise for at least 20, 30 minutes while focusing on deep breathing and letting go of any tension or stress. It can really help improve your sleep and overall relaxation. So, sleep sounds like white noise, pink noise, and brown noise are said to really help with getting a better night's sleep. If you're aiming to doze off quicker and stay asleep longer, giving these soothing sounds a shot might be worth it. Exactly, Max. But it's not just about listening to them randomly. You've got to integrate them into your bedtime routine. Especially if you struggle with insomnia, having a consistent bedtime schedule is key. A nightly ritual signal to your brain that it's time to wind down. By incorporating, for example, white noise into your evening routine, you're training your body to associate those sounds with sleep. This teaches your brain to relax, which is crucial for overcoming those anxious, racing thoughts that often keep us up at night. Having something to focus on besides those worries can make a world of difference. Wow. It's been such an eye-opening experience learning about all these different noises. And hey, to all our viewers out there, don't forget to give these amazing noises a try by checking out the playlist on our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you about which sounds you enjoyed the most and why. As you can tell, the world of colored noise is vast and diverse. Understanding the distinctions between each colored noise type can really help you find the perfect sounds for your needs, whether it's for better sleep, improved health, or enrichment. Finding inner peace is within reach, and we're here to guide you along the way. Your support means everything to us, so don't hesitate to subscribe, like hit that notification bell. We'll catch you next time, dear friends.